Well, hello everyone from uh, sunny Birmingham. I'm in the centre of the universe. And um, this is the Birmingham Entomological Show. Uh, this is a few hours in. Uh, I've been uh, kind of recuperating from a, a night out. But um, I'll do a little bit of a tour. I'm on a kind of five minute timer here in 4K. So uh, here's some nice enclosures. I think I'm going to get one of these um, for my Pocletheria. Metallica communal um, yeah, The reason I haven't been filming obviously you know that I lost one and I've just lost another so I've been pretty gutted about the whole thing um, But anyway life goes on as it were so these are really nice gonna cruise about it's uh, yeah sunny and um, but It's very nice and cool in here, which is great just met a chap who's brought a few of my enclosures which is uh, nice we've had a beer in the Sun that's why we're a few hours late but um, lovely uh, butterflies here on show and uh, these are beetles Wow look at the colors absolutely amazing and uh, I think there's more I'm quite sure what those are hang on a sec it's a magical mystery tour but um, Birmingham has always been close to my heart, so it's a real pleasure to be filming here in Birmingham. So, um, yeah. If I witter on a bit, um, I do apologise. But uh, this is a custom aquaria. I think you've seen them a few times on my channel. All right, guys. Bit of court bark. Great stuff. They got lovely enclosures. And uh, don't mind if I film, do you? Just a quick peek at your stuff. Who are you? You're Helen Stewart. <laughs> only in Birmingham. For one night only. <laughs> but uh, you've got nice little... It's stick insects mostly, is it? And, Everything is stick insects and beetles and got a website. Just do a bit of publicity for you. Oh yeah, I've so yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, bugs for hugs, okay. Great stuff. And uh Ooh. It's quite interesting. British Arachnological Society, yeah. My YouTube uh, channel is called Arachnophilia. Oh, right. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, probably... Good choice of that name, I hope. <laughs> well, I don't know. I only keep tarantulas at the moment, so I'm oh, not, right. but... Uh... I mean, obviously, we're only looking at British spiders here. Yeah. But there is one spider called Atticus affinis, which is more closely related to tarantulas than it is to the rest of the British spider form. It is right. actually a tarantula, but it's that Wow. But that's... It's in its own suborder. Could you repeat that name? It's Atopus affinis. It's called the purse web spider. I've heard of purse web, yeah. yeah. It has it's a um, burrow all right. of silk. And then above ground, it has like a little finger size of silk. And if something walks mm. on the burrow, the spider comes up. Wow. Well, Trapdoor. Well, no, kind it, of. Well, it bites through the tube. Oh. And then it will pull, it'll pull its prey back into its burrow and eat it. Do you actually have any of these for sale? Sorry? Do you have any no, for sale? No, no, no. Oh, I was going to say, now, you, now you're tempting <laughs> well, me because I, I really, I've got um, a few Idiotheli mirrors. Right. I've got five of them. And then, is that the only trapdoor I've got? Yeah. But I love them. They're brilliant. Well, and I think, because yeah. I think they're the only, oh no, except for, is it Cyclodonia Celadonia? That's the arboreal right. uh, trapdoor. Oh, okay. Tarantula, yeah. but there's only a few. You so. know more about that than I do. I only know British spiders. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, but this, we don't often see the spider because the mm. female stays in a burrow. Yeah. So the male has to go looking for her. Yeah. He's mature, which does it at night. Right. <laughs> so unless you camp out where you've got these things, you don't often see the spider itself. But you will see the little above ground portions of the. Mm. Well, they call it purse web because it's supposed to look like an old fashioned. And is it British actually, the yes. person? Wow. Yeah. You find Best the of British. South, uh -huh. You find all around the Welsh coast, and there's one site we know of in Shropshire, where I live. 
Sorry, we're back again. Uh, I've only got five minutes on this. Uh, it's 4K though. There was a rock there. Yeah. And you saw this spot. Mm. didn't know a lot about the spiders, but we knew this was odd. So we told us about it and we went looking for it. And what happens is that the wind blows soil into the little cracks mm. in the rock pile. Oh. So it's very friable soil. And then a little bit of grass grows in there. And of course it freely drains. All the spiders have got their little tubes. So mm. it's great climbing up there and he's got all these... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's... that's, that's yeah. yeah. the spider, but we have seen that the little tubes. Floriat salopia, as they say. <laughs> Let Shropshire flourish. Oh, well, yes. well, I was just thinking my granddad and his roses and right. Shropshire soil apparently is the best. Yeah, but, uh, really, anyway, we're sidetracking a bit, but uh, no, I've, I haven't been back to Shropshire for a while, so um, yeah. it'd be well, great to visit. More and more odd things coming up country. Yeah. yeah. Now I've got the wasp spider, it's coming to the county, and it's sort of moved up country. And, yeah. And uh, what else has come with? Oh, of course. Um, Widow, yes, yeah. Which is why all the newspapers are panicking. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I've seen a few in the house. And uh, what's the name? Is it uh, Erratica, Erratica Atrica? Eretagina Atrica? Ah, yes. yes that's yes. Quite, well, that's the common. Yes. I got. A, I just did a video actually of uh, filming one in the garage. Right. Almost yeah. fell off my. <laughs> I had to sort of lean because yeah. the garage is full of webs and. It's one of the house spiders. Yeah. There is, there is a species called um, Pariatina, the cardinal spider, because allegedly it frightened cardinal walls when it was found at Hampton. Ah, oh, I've heard that, yeah. The legs span 5 inches. Wow. So the body's not big, but the legs span in the male is about 5 inches. That might scare me, actually, well, so... Yes. Poor old Cardinal Woolsey, eh? Well. Well, this is when you get the newspaper <laughs> saying you've got spiders as big as mice. Yeah. Because you know, the legs span are 5 inches. Yeah. There's, I've got a few on the, the, the windows in the front of the house as well. I can't remember. I think they're, oh, what's their name? But they're kind of small and they all live in the corners of the oh, window. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to feed, so I'm going to get them feeding soon. Right. Yeah, the, uh, the house spider is quite like a mealworm. Very good feed. They like oh, mealworms. Yes, they, they love a they're very quick feeding response and... All right. And, wet, and it just wiggles about. The other way to tease them out, you can use a fuzzy, you know, a two toothbrush, and you buzz the web and they come whizzing out. Yeah. And then they go, oh, it's only a toothbrush. Well, well, I've got some tongs, so I usually oh, just, okay. yeah, give it a little tap. Yes, and yeah, use a tuning fork, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But if you put a maggot in there, it will come out and it will start feeding. So you just put it in Well, brilliant. Well, lovely to meet you guys. And, um... Yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day. Yes, yeah. Glad the sun is shining. It was a bit wet and windy. Well, wet and windy, but wet yesterday, so. Good stuff, yeah. It's always great to be back in the centre of the universe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> terrible jokes, terrible jokes. Thanks. Right, that was a very interesting chat. I would uh, probably stay there for another oof, hour listening to that chap. Brilliant knowledge. Um, we've got some millipedes of those. Yeah, millipede. Very nice. Hello, ladies. Oops. Oh, she's hiding. No, probably wise. Oh, dear. That was a crash and burn. Ah, oh, we're at the spider shop. Um, ooh, centipedes. How are you doing? Your eyes? Good, thank you. Good. Having a good day? We are, yeah. Yeah. Great. Doing a bit of filming. Uh, wasn't going to film. I've had a, a couple of losses recently, so, um, oh. yeah. Well, so I hope kind of putting their best smiley faces on for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I started a communal and lost a couple of Metallicas just this oh, last yeah. week. Yeah. Did you put them together? Or? Yeah. Uh, oh. Bit of a heartbreaker. but um, Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Really. Do you have them from different batches? Sorry? Different batches. Uh, what, sorry? Did you get them from different cultures? Different no, batches? no, no. Oh, same batch, same batch. And I got them from the BTS. Bigger. But um, they were doing great and just, yeah. Went down. Say la vie. No, they didn't. They just died during the molt. Oh, no. Flipped over. I know, it's even worse, yeah. Shocker. But, um, lovely to meet you. What's your name? Vicky. Lovely to meet you, Vicky. What's Maurice. 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 All right, we'll do a bit more feed, feeding. Add feeding. 
I think I just realised the video wasn't actually recording and I've just been talking um, for no reason. Anyway, over to this way. How are you doing, sir? Having a nice cup of tea. Great stuff. And I'm uh, quite sure who these people are, actually. Um, some more. See the very small pet teams. I'm not sure what these are. Oh, beetles. I'm sorry if I'm making a complete sort of hash of all this, but uh, show you a few of these. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Very good. How are you? How are we doing? You're at the insect yeah. farm. Sorry? Mark at the insect farm. Great stuff. All right? No, not too bad. A bit uh, hot and beaded, but. Um, yes, yeah, it's a nice busy day though. But great stuff, yeah. Fantastic. Have you got a website then? It's... We do, um, just bear with me. Sorry. Let's get you a bit of uh, publicity yeah, because uh, why not? Absolutely. We, um, we do have a website. The best place to, to get us is on our Facebook page. The Inse if you look us up, the Insect Farm. Right. On there. I might as well have one of these. Mark and uh, Harriet at the Insect Farm. You can, uh, ask for Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Lovely to meet you, you Mark. And you too. Thank you very have much. a lovely day. You too. Uh, we've got some jewellery here. And live food. Right. Yeah, you're right. I'm not too bad. A bit hot, but I'm alright. I'm. <laughs> Cooling day in a bit now. It was hotter earlier. Yeah, well, yesterday it was a bit sort of uh, overcast, and but I didn't get rained on. So there you go. It's always good. But uh, yeah, I went to Cotteridge. Right. Yes, there was a bit of a music thing going on, and so anyway, yeah, I'm wittering on. But who are you <laughs> two chaps? We're Rattlesnake Canyon. I've got a shop over in King Standing. Great stuff. So you live food and yeah, live food and a few inverts uh, today, and some books and bits and pieces. Great stuff. And a so. gorgeous assistant. Well, I wasn't going to say that because that just, <laughs> just, I can't say that because she's bending down over there. Oh, I was. Oh, gorgeous. I thought you were talking about you two. I was no. talking about me. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great comedy as always in Birmingham. You That's it. Can't knock the Birmingham humour. Exactly. <laughs> Centre of the universe. Everything's brilliant. Right. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Okay. Oh, there's some little features there. Rattlesnake Canyon, it's a good name, I like it. And we are onto some more spiders. Uh, Mexican red rock. Argentinian tarantula. Never heard of this. Catumiri Argentinense. Mm, very interesting. And I'm um, trying to find someone actually but uh, I've lost them how are you doing you're right lovely stuff do um who are you chaps who are you uh, Martin, Goss. Martin Goss there he is I think he's well known in the uh, community so uh, um <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. We'll just press pause for a wee sec. Right, so we're carrying on the filming and this is JP, an assistant. How are you doing JP? Lovely to see you. Are you alright? I've been a fan. Yeah. The rounds, the rounds. A bit late I've just had a few beers. There's a method to my madness. But um, I was feeling quite rough from last night, so I uh, just met a, a new... You know, feel better, guys, when, when you have a beer. Get yourself a nice millipede, you know what I mean? A nice chocolate millipede. They'll get you down, get any chocolate milk, you see your chocolate millipede. <laughs> I'm actually looking for someone who wanted to have a chat with you, because have you got... Ah, uh, I'm not sure if you have, actually. Sold a lot. Yeah, because he wanted to get some advice about um, scorpions and what that... Are? Well, he wanted. He's only just got into the hobby. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a very so um, yeah, and I said that you you're pretty knowledgeable on. Pretty, uh, Steve kind of guy, so, uh, <laughs> so what have you got then? You've got. Um, 
Great stuff. Because someone's a bit late because I'm here to drink, didn't they? So, the uh, yeah. You've got your flower mantis here, you've got from level one all the way up to level what, like four or five. Bumblebees here as well, bumblebees in there, you've got your nice gorgeous chocolate millipedes here. Ooh. Absolutely stunning little millipedes to keep. They're quite big as well. And then you obviously you've got your beautiful little ghost millipedes here, uh, millipedes, ghost flower mantis here. Yep. You've got your gorgeous uh, Asian forest scorpions, simple to keep, easy ones to keep. Second largest scorpions in the hobby as well, apart from them, bro. You've got your assassin bugs here, these are the giant assassin bugs. I know you like your assassin bugs. Definitely, definitely. These are the largest mm. assassin bugs in the hobby today and in the world. Then you've got your red spotted assassin bugs as well. Great stuff. Simple as that. Most stocks already gone because uh, it's a bit late, it's like now 2 o'clock and it's just turned up with it. And you're having a good day as well? I am, definitely. Yeah. Great stuff. And. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit late, but uh, yeah. Always the way. Like, I know. Why can't they do these shows on a Saturday? <laughs> I know. Why can't they do these shows? <laughs> because it's obviously cheaper on a Sunday. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but no, I had a yeah. My my sister lives here, so we had a thing in Cotteridge. I had a bit of a. a we did, we did, and it yeah, carried on. So, are you heading back to Derby? Yeah. I take it tonight, and. It's only an hour away. So it's and. Are you heading in tonight? Well, good luck in the championship. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's going to kick off for a second. but uh, me get my out, I tell you. <laughs> lovely to see you and you. best of luck. And I hope you um, carry on with success. And I'll see you at another show. You sound like the Villa fan. Oh. <laughs> I know. Well, we'll hopefully you'll be all right. But anyway. I'll see you in the two seasons. Cheers, man. So, yeah, this is quite a nice way to finish off the vid. Hope you've enjoyed it. This is Raul. Uh, we met earlier and um, yeah so uh, it was nice to have a beer with you and have you had a good day yeah it's amazing to be here how many stuff I've got <laughs> so yeah I've just um, I know what you've got here so I was just got a little I'm trying to figure out which one to go for oh you haven't bought them yet no aha uh -huh. I want your opinion yeah should I go for the larger one um I've got some plants I've got my versicolor. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some good stuff in there. I've got the enclosures from you. And he's got some enclosures. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm uh, um, the bigger or the smaller one. Um, I think go for the bigger How one. Long will this one take to get to this size? Not long. Say? A malt. So. Malt. Yeah, I, I would buy. I would buy the bigger one. The bigger one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'll go with this. Very one. nice. Fifty pounds. That's not bad. I mean, I got yeah. mine I for. I need a scorpion. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, we'll go and see JP. Yeah, so, please. right, we'll go and see him. I mean, but, just, um, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop filming now because um, I've already filmed JP. But right. yeah, I just spoke to him and I said, oh, he wants, yeah, you, you want to meet him and stuff. So, no yeah, so everyone, yeah, goodbye. And um, I'm off to go and enjoy some more of Birmingham's uh, pleasures. And yeah, cheers, Raul, and Thank you. see you soon.